Hey everybody, it's Barbara. And as you can see, we're starting out with a blank slate. And this is because instead of actually reviewing a doll, I'm going to be reviewing clothes and accessories uh, from some artists uh, that I've come to know uh, through Instagram and through eBay. And when I first discovered them, I was very excited. I wanted to uh, talk about their clothes, talk about their products. And I had to wait, unfortunately, a while uh, because of the delay. So the, the, without any further ado, uh, this package, which I really should have thought twice about this, um, this package is coming from both, and I will have links to them in the bottom, doll hearts and mini miniatures on Instagram. And you can tell I'm new to this whole deboxing thing because I have to show you the back because I didn't think to like block out my address or theirs and I don't want people bothering them. I want you to I want you to buy from them. I don't want you to bother them. How about that? I want you to buy from them. So this is really really nice. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Uh, let me see if Oh, here we go. First I'm trying I'm sorry guys. I got to try to empty the envelope without turning this around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I do want to show you this. Let's see if I can do this. Yep, I got it. Okay. Really, really cool stamps. This is from Russia. I love interesting stamps. These are really cool. Okay. So as I said, this is from Mini Miniatures and Doll's Hearts. Um, this is the capsule collection uh, from Doll's Hearts. It's very autumnal, and if you're into ASMR, it's already wonderful because of the crinkly and the polka dots. So let's see. There we go. I'm so excited! I'm literally like dying here because I've been following um, Doll's Heart also does a storyline and if you if you follow them and you follow that storyline you, you you're like dying because you've been watching them and all the romance so this capsule collection was a mustard yellow sweater uh, a very lovely sort of jumper floral patterned dress oops and then we also have, as part of this capsule collection, uh, a lovely, oops, if I can learn not to drop things, <laughs> uh, sort of like an army green denim skirt and a nice red top. And then the final piece de resistance is a lovely Christmas green trench. So let's go ahead. I have to be a little bit careful because I do have a cat, as we all know, from her frequent cameos. And I don't want her eating the string. Oh, there you go. But let's go ahead and take a look at these pieces a little bit more closely. Yes, they are, of course, going to get dressed. They're going to go on a doll. Um, so this is the, I'd say this is like a car coat length uh, jacket. Very nice seeming, very neat seeming on the inside of the coat. It ties with a belt. New pockets, but that's okay. Uh, the shirt is your typical long sleeve t-shirt, a little bit longer to tuck in. And, I, and it, given that it's open in the back, I assume this is just something you will pull up and pull on. This feels very soft, so I'm going to say this is cotton. And again, very neat seeming, not lined. Couldn't be. The, the, the material's too soft to be lined. This is the denim skirt. Yay! Metal snap. 
Look, Mattel, somebody knows how to use a metal snap. All right, go see my other videos of going off on Mattel, but this is not about Mattel. By the way, these snaps, this detailing of buttons in the front is also metallic. It's very cute. Uh, the dress has a, a faux leather belt. Metal belt button detailing at the top, three of them. In the back, again, it will close with snaps. And the sweater, as I said, I, I, I it's re I can't, it's like 90 degrees in New York right now, so I don't think I could actually bring myself to put the sweater on my dolls right now. So I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry, I can't. But again, very nice knit, very good seeming. This is very nicely made, all quality here. And obviously, yeah, this is this is the these clothes are weather more for this, not the 90 degrees. My dear friends, thank you for your order. I hope you will like these miniature journals. Uh, hugs from Russia, Nadia Lifa of Doll's Heart. So the journals are here somewhere. We're going to look at them in a second. I think these might be them. It's impressive when they make an effort to do a nice presentation. And she's, and, and Nadia, Nadia, is, I wanted to make sure that it was Nadia and not Natalia and I was mispronouncing it. It's Nadia. Nadia does. Nadia, besides the, the, the clothes and, and the journals, you, you, again, go find Doll's Heart. And even if you don't buy her stuff, read the stories. Oh my God. The stories are unbelievable. It's like it's a free soap opera in several languages. And I think I'm just going to do this. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. I've been waiting for the journals for a while. And here they are. Please be the journals. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's open this. So, I'm not sure what this is. Cute little, almost like a postcard of a, of a hot air balloon. Again, thank you for your order. This is really nice. This is a journal. It says it has... Um, Scrapbooking detailing on the front with flowers. I'm going to drop the light a little bit lower so you can see it. Here we go. Sc scrapbooking detailing of flowers and the word life in English. And you open it in the back gently. And it has real hoops or loops like you would see in, in a real journal little bit of a pocket here to put things in, but I wouldn't push it too much. Blank pages that if you wanted to shrink things down and add ideas, it's very nice. Or you could, you could almost use this also as like wallpaper samples or floor samples. So you have pink stripes, uh, sort of an extended fleur-de-lis, some more white pages, a yellow-green polka dot, um, a teal pattern, some more white pages, and then this retro pattern in a lighter green, and on the other side is going to be stripes. And then finally you have this jersey pattern and the floral pattern. So, so there's, there's been some, so it's like almost like having sections to the journal, which I think is kind of smart. So this is one of the journals.
I bought two. And I presume this is going to be the more masculine of the two journals. Why am I presuming this? Because it's purple and I could be completely wrong. And another cute little postcard. This one is a bird carrying a message, like a carrier pigeon. Very cool. Best wishes to you from Doll's Heart. Yes, this is this is the the guy's journal because it's brown. You open it up. Again, you have the real loops and tell me a story. And then you have pages in which you are invited to tell that story. And then you have, I guess, like a calendar page. And another divider. Very cute. Another divider, another divider, and then the back. So these are these are very creative journals. They're not your typical like they don't or they don't open or it's just you know lined pages. There's actually some thought here. There are some dividers. There's some there's some planning that goes into this. Now, a lot of the times in Doll's Heart, uh, the characters. Uh, some the, the 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 other miniatures are made by someone by the name of Mini Miniatures, and I've bought from her before, and this is more miniatures from her. So this is the box, which I'm pretty sure has been taped. Of course it has, but luckily, I have prepared for that. I have prepared for that. Out of reach, but I've prepared for that. Okay. Dun dun dun. Yep, this is how you don't make money on YouTube. <laughs> and this is miniature decorations for dolls. Thanks for your order, mini miniatures. And again, I will have uh, Doll's Heart and mini miniatures in the description below so you can visit them on the tube uh, uh, on Instagram. Some nice, clear stars. And I had bought, now this is, this is the interesting part, and this is why I said we were gonna do um, a double review. I had bought her set of makeup. Oops. And I bought it to compare it. I'm just going to hold it up because I haven't, I'm going to compare it to some more makeup that I bought, but I just want to very quickly show you um, the very nice palettes. Yikes, there are. It's like, you know, the sets you get when you want to buy like a whole palette. So these are really nice. Uh, there's like a whole there's like a whole tray in here in a display which I will set up in a minute. This is one of the lipsticks. There's a couple of lipsticks in here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here which I will show you. Um, I'm not even sure how to get this open. Okay. But what we're going to do now is we're going to pause for a few minutes uh, because I'm going to dress the dolls and then we're going to sit the dolls down and we're going to play makeup with them so be right back so as you can see here uh, we have the ladies and this is Oh, that's a runaway lipstick. Hang on. Huh. Okay. So this is the jumper I told you about. 
As you can see, it's very nicely tailored. Looks great. This is a newer fashion royalty body, older face. But it looks wonderful on her. The playability comes in where I believe you could actually put, I'm going to stand her up straight in a second, but you could actually put this red t-shirt, I would say underneath the jumper, or you could pair it as I did here with the skirt. This is an old monogram body. Uh, they haven't done monograms a lot. Integrity Toys Body, again, haven't done the monograms a lot lately. But you can absolutely, as you can see, put it on this body too, and it would look really nice. And even though it's really hot, I did put in uh, the jacket on an East 59th Street body. It fits her very well. And I will just show you quickly how, oops, I don't want to, that on the back, it fits very well. And then the front. Now, I did say this, we also had mini miniatures, and she did this wonderful set of makeup. And I'm going to just, whoops, I'm going to point the camera down and hold it down and over so you can see what's here. Uh, there's a brush and a comb. I don't know if this is her proprietary mold that she made these. Um, but everything else that is on this tray, she made. As you can see, there are very realistic um, eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes that you would just get anywhere. There's one with that kind of goes into the blues. And then there are some earth tones here. And my favorite, which kind of got hidden somehow the lavenders right there, which I like a lot. You also have a lot of different shades of nail polish. You have some gold, you have some yellows, you have some pinks, you have a green, you have a blue, you have a purple. And then you have uh, either eyeshadow or lip gloss tubes. This is obviously a lip gloss in my hand. And then you have that sort of sandwiched in there. You have a tube of what I'm assuming is liquid lipstick. And then what I like a lot, a lot, are these little discs. I'm holding one in my hand, the purple one. But there's a blue-gray and a green one, too. And I think if you can find small enough mirrors, you could actually use them as compacts. And these are all really small and fit well enough that you can put them in purses, and they totally fit. And this is obviously the foundation. And this is, and if you see here, you can see this is a lipstick. And I'm just going to put the camera back up. But I like, obviously, it's like a, a traditional lipstick tube. And I'm going to attempt, and this is going to be the second attempt, I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to attempt to put this in her hand. By the way, this bracelet also came with the makeup set. But it goes with both outfits really nicely. See, the problem is, I can't, I can't think maybe now it'll stay. Hopefully, please, God. Nope, hang on. It does, I mean, if you look, it's fitting in her hand exactly the way a cap should fit in her hand. You would need, I would say you'd probably need a little tacky tape to get it to stay. Maybe I should stop with gravity and turn it around and maybe if I turned it around it'll finally stay in her hand. Uh -huh. Let's see. Gravity, do, don't do your stuff. Well, you see, like I said, it fits correctly in her hand. So this is, so this is a great set. So I am beyond ecstatic uh, with these dolls.
and with their ensembles. So what is my takeaway here? My takeaway here for you guys is thus. Um, I will have links to doll hearts and mini miniatures um, in my description below, and I would definitely check them out on Instagram, and I would definitely highly consider purchasing from them because they are excellent. And even if you don't purchase from them, I would definitely follow them on Instagram because they tell a wonderful soap opera story and I enjoy it immensely. So I would highly recommend checking it out. I'm playing with another box here. I'm sorry. So for me and for Doll's Heart and Mini Miniatures, this is Barbara. And I will see you in my next review, which is going to be another deboxing from Eastern Europe and Russia. Uh, and another comparison and talk about playability and all the, you know, all the different options that are out there now uh, for miniatures with, without it being remand, though remand is cool. Uh, but definitely check out Mini Miniatures and Doll's Heart. They are awesome. They are marvelous. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Take care.